Welcome on in guys, welcome to another video here in the F-16C Viper. This time we're going to be playing around with the harms, the anti-radiation missiles, and we're going to be using the harm uh, targeting system uh, as well as the harm attack display. So let's go ahead and jump in the aircraft and have a look at that. So let's uh, go and switch to air ground mode. And on the right MFD, you're going to see our uh, AGM 88Cs. We're going to go ahead and turn those on. And on the left hand side, we're going to change that uh, fire control radar. We're going to turn that to HAD, uh, so the harm attack display. Uh, right MFD, we're going to bring our HSD back up so we can see the fret rings. We have an SA2 site that we are going to go after. Uh, this run. Uh, so on the left MFD we're going to soy that, soy the the uh, head and uh, with radar select left right uh, up and down we're going to bring this bracket over and here we have the search radar uh, for the SA2 site that is going to be our first target. Uh, so let's go ahead and TMS up on that and it's going to box it, it's going to turn red. There we go. So now we are going to have the position and quality that we're going to have to uh, look for. So we're going to keep around about uh, 25 to 45 degrees off of the target just now until that quality uh, improves. So it's on quality 5 just now which isn't great. We are looking for uh, at best uh, quality 2, uh, so we'll know that it's calculated uh, and uh, worked out uh, where that where that search radar actually is. It's gonna it's it's gonna just uh, keep uh, improving that information as we uh, as we target it. Okay, so up on the HUD, uh, we have our range in carrot. Uh, and we also have, uh, we should have, we'll have a minimum, a minimum pitch angle for lofting and a maximum pitch angle for lofting. So when we are uh, getting ready to fire these, we're going to turn towards that fall line, and we're just going to climb a little bit just to give, uh, uh, give that missile uh, some altitude. Okay, so. Quality 5 at the moment. I'll keep heading towards that. Let's uh, turn a little bit towards it. But at the moment, it is not detecting us as a threat. Let's go ahead and hold that angle just now. But as we get closer, That quality will improve. So this ring that's round our aircraft just now is the weapon employment zone. So as we uh, come into that our uh, quality will also improve. We've also got range in here, so we can uh, put the uh, range in out. You can see that we have uh, some other SAM sites uh, to the north of us just now. So we've got that big bird and an SA6. And these are our range rings as well. Let's uh, bring that back down though. Okay, so quality 4, that is starting to improve. We could go ahead and fire on that as you get the uh, as you get the better quality and it's ready to fire. This box will flash to tell you that it's ready to fire. Okay, quality for at the moment. Going to start turning towards that. Quality three. There's quality two. Okay. Let's go full burner. 
Right, so it's starting to track us now. And pressing the weapon release button. And we can turn away. They are fire and forget. So that will track on that search radar there. But the job won't be over uh, with an SA-2 site with the uh, search radar down. The SA-2 will become active. Let's just pull away from that just now. So let's sort the trim out a little bit here. Make up for the uh, mismatch in weight on the wings. And that is looking good. That is looking like it is tracking. Yeah, it's looking like one dead search radar. There we go. One dead search radar. And it's gone silent. Alright, so we'll also see now that the uh, SA-2 has uh, come active now that the search radar has gone down. So we're going to do the same again. We're going to turn towards that. And we should see a number 2 on the uh, harm attack display. So let's not go straight for it at the moment, but here we go. Okay, select that, TMS up. And again, we have uh, we have uh, call A2, so we can actually turn and uh, fire on that. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. So it's full burner again. And we're going to climb, get a bit of angle on that missile. And weapon release. And off she goes. Turn away. As long as that SA-2 stays active, that should track that no problem. We should have one downed SA-2 site. Still on the climb. Not looking good. Yeah, that is looking good. That looks like that's tracking nicely. Won't be long till that impacts. She'll be coming in there quite quick. Currently a thousand knots, so she is, she is booking it. Now, depending on the site, uh, you really are going to have to decide whether you uh, send out more than one missile, as they will defend against it. But there we go. That is, uh, that is one down SA two. Let's uh, just turn towards that and uh, just make sure but I have a feeling that that site will no longer be active there we go that is uh, one dead SA2 site so we should be able to fly towards that let's just make sure 
we're still showing uh, we're still showing active there, but let's find out. Let's fly towards it. See if it lights us up at all. That should be the track uh, track radar down. But we can always send another missile out if needs be. So I'm uh, full burner just now on, on the off chance that we need to send one out. Getting close to that fret ring as well. being tracked at the moment. Almost within the, uh, the ring there. And there we go. It's uh, actually gone, uh, gone quiet now. Yep, that is one dead SA2 sign. Anyway guys, hopefully you have found that video helpful. Uh, join me next time for a look at another weapon in the uh, F-16. Again, thank you very much for watching and bye for now.